Kia ora. Welcome to Wake Up New Zealand. I'm Millie. And I'm Tilly. And today's stories, a new crime wave is sweeping the country in the form of woolen graffiti. Scientists have invented an invisibility cloak. We helped them find it in the latest weather updates. But first up, if you think the world is getting more and more topsy-turvy, it turns out you're right. Builders in Germany have built an upside down house which rests on the, its roof. Inside there are beds screwed to the, into the ceiling, upside down wardrobes, an upside down kitchen and even an upturned bathroom. We cross now to our reporter Sophie. Thanks, Mal Thanks Malay. I'm here with the owner and builder of the Upside Down House. Why did you, Megan Wynn, why did you decide to build an Upside Down House? Why wouldn't you? It's completely different. What's your favourite thing of living in an Upside Down House? Well, you can walk on your hands and you can see things from a completely different angle. What's the hardest thing about living in an Upside Down House? Well, drinking my tea is pretty hard, it spills everywhere, and going to the toilet is not very nice. Cooking is just another challenge. You've got to be careful not to burn yourself. Well, that does feel real. That does sound very difficult. Thanks. Back to you, Millie and Tilly. Now, for a story that is truly out of sight. Scientists in Europe have created an invisibility cloak which can hide objects by bending light waves. However, since inventing the invisibility cloak, scientists have been having trouble finding it. The inventor says, as soon as we put it down, somewhere it just disappears. Hoping to see through the reasons behind the invisibility cloak, here is our reporter, James. Hello, my name is James and with me is... Where did he go? Jackson, the scientist who made the invisibility cloak. So Jackson, why did you want to make this invisibility? Well, I've been part of the military for most of my life, so I decided to give them something. Good. Can you please show us how it works? That's amazing. Where is he gone? <laughs> what do you think this will be used for? Well, I hope they will use it to help them defeat the enemy line. Very good. Thank you for joining us tonight. Back to Millie and Tilly in the studio. Thanks, James. Next up, there's a new wave of graffiti cut crime is covering the city and country. Thanks to an underground gang known as the Midnight Nisses, without permission, these woolly criminals are covering tree branches and lampposts with jerseys and scarves in the dead of night. Police say we are stitching together a case, but there's no real pattern to the crimes. We cross now to Lucy with an exclusive interview. Thanks Millie. I'm Lucy and I'm down here today with a member from the Midnight Knitters Gang, Toothless Tony. Welcome Toothless Tony. It's lovely to have you down here on this beautiful bright sunny day. So tell me, what led you into this underworld of knitted graffiti? Well, thanks Lucy. Um, um, well, I was doing a lot of knitting um, for, for stores and stuff and I, I think I was just undervalued and people weren't taking me seriously, you know? Yeah, okay. Um, so there's been a lot of talk about this being a criminal, criminal activity and um, the police are after you. Do you consider yourself as a criminal? Criminal? No, no, no. Like, what criminals leave clothing lying around? Like, I, I knit socks and scarves and leave them for people to wear the next day. Yeah, true, true. So we've seen all your knitted woolens on lampposts and trees. What, what else do you want to um, graffiti with your knitting? Well, 
I've actually been planning a really big expedition. Um, on, I've got a, a few mates coming to help me. Uh, where's Woolly and Shrek's coming up from the South Island, and and we're gonna um we're gonna outfit a whole building. Um, stop, you know, so we don't need to be using central heating and using up power. Great, great. Well, you know, look, I hope that all goes well for you and I hope the police don't catch up with you. So thanks for coming down here today and talking to us, Toothless Tony. Back to you, Millie and Tully at the news desk. Well, at least they'll be warm if they get caught and go to jail. Now, let's have a look at the weather up and down the country with Ben. What's in store? Thanks, Tilly. Let's have a look at tomorrow's weather. In Taipei, there will be a mix of fair conditions and unfair conditions, but those, con those are just the conditions and you'll have to accept them. There will be no weather at all for the Hunterway capital, Hunterway capital of the world, Hunterville. It's taking a short holiday but is expected to be back, in, back for the weekend. Wellington will have another capital day with no wind at all, so keep calm and carry on. Christchurch will be cold and unfriendly until late morning. Then the sun will pop over for a visit. Everybody likes the sun. That's all from me. Now let's head, now it's back to the news desk. Thanks Ben. Well that's all we have for, wait, that's all we have time for. We hope you've enjoyed today's show. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you again and next time. Until then, I'm Tilly. And I'm Millie for Wake Up New Zealand. Goodbye. Goodbye.